blatant, clear exhibition of the political will beyond the the verbal commitment to fight corruption. You know, in your view, once upon a time we heard that um, the setting up of the office of the special prosecutor was a demonstration of, of commitment, the of, commitment of this administration to fight, to fight corruption. Corruption. And we saw a special prosecutor being appointed who was seen as a citizen vigilante, mm -hmm. you know, who would address the issues. Now, how did that special prosecutor end up? He ended up actually referring to his appointing authority, the president, as the mother serpent of corruption. That's a really serious allegation. When an auditor general, who is supposed to be an independent, you know, public servant with a major responsibility for addressing issues of corruption in the public service, when he gets hunted down in the way that the past auditor general was hunted down from office and unable to perform his role, sent on leave and so on. Oh, that I don't think that, I don't, well, well, you know, even before that he'd been sent on leave and so exactly. on, and then in the end they said his time was due and there were issues about his date of birth and so on and so on. But the, the signal that, that, that all of that sends, including to people who are supporters yeah. of this government, the signal that that sends out it's not such a good signal. I mean, I have seen and heard uh, people who were fervent advocates uh, of the president um, express their concern in relation to some of these uh, issues. And you see, we, we've, we've got to recognize that, you know, I mean, the citizenry as a whole lives very close to all these events and activities in the sense that people live next door to ministers, to aides to the president, to, you know, uh, political appointees. Appointee, people yes. live next door to them in, in communities and they observe them. They observe, you know, how they splash money and how they behave, um, you know, uh, when they are in public.